Well, it's been a while since I played a Metroid game, hasn't it? We can officially call this one retro. I think we can, yes. So when I was a wee lad in the 8th grade, 2002 rolled around. And this is when I got my first introduction to Metroid. It was Metroid Fusion, of course, that caught my attention. It was wonderful and it was great and I love Metroid ever since. And so around that time, ooh, Metroid Prime is coming to my brand new shiny GameCube. Let's try it out. I did awful at it. But now, several years later, let's try this again. Hello everybody, welcome to Metroid Prime. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskull. Gonna go through uh, all of Metroid Prime here and do as much as we can and get 100% of the items. Try to at least. We will though, I'm, I'm working on it. This is the original GameCube version. That's, that's version 1.00, because I want to play the first version that ever came out. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna tap some fun. We can stretch the screen a little bit, make it a little, little, little bit nicer, because I'm working on a 4-3 aspect ratio. I know the Wii U has widescreen, but, you know, hey, we're, we're, it's like it's 2002 all over again, right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a brand, brand new, brand new dimension, brand new Metroid, brand new project. This is gonna be exciting. I can't wait. This game is great. Let's plug in my CRT TV. So it starts with an unidentified distress beacon tracked to a derelict space vessel above Talon 4. I think timeline-wise, this is after Metroid 1. So we've defeated the space pirates, and they're kind of like scattered and licking their wounds a little bit. Mother Brain's been destroyed, you know, they're, you know, you know the Metroids of Planet Zebes are, 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 are taken care of. It's all good. But above Talon 4, there's a distress signal, and we as a bounty hunter should probably go and investigate it. Might be some good money. Could be some good money, or it could be, you know, helping people or something dumb like that, you know, whatever. Could be a derelict spaceship, yeah. It's looking a little dead. Not like Dead Space dead, but like, uh... Unoperational. The vanishing of Ethan Carter dead, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's got the trusty doors. So that's good. I forgot her ship looked like a bug. Yep. I don't think they really had any true design documents for, for her ship, so they just had to say, yeah, this looks enough like the one from Super Metroid, right? Good enough. See, I was trying to think how much input Nintendo had and how much liberty was given to Retro to make what they wanted. I think that they have a bit more freedom, because Metroid is a kind of a franchise that's, you know, not exactly as respected or beloved as, it, as you know, everything else at the time. Man, now it's hot shit, but, you know, before Metroid Prime, you know, Nintendo's like, yeah, you can do whatever you want with Metroid, just, 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 just do whatever. Just don't ruin the franchise, please. First person? Yeah, okay, that could work. Yeah, that could work. And it's certainly different, it's certainly an adjustment, an adjustment but it's one of the finest shooters uh... of our age. Hi, first person. Here we go. Ah, uh, the HUD slowly comes in. I love it. So, we have uh, missiles there on our right. Uh, over there on the bottom left are our different visors. We can hold L to lock onto targets. We can also use that to kind of just lock our vision, because we don't have a second stick to do the kind of movement that a normal shooter would have right now. Yeah, that was always off-putting to me, that we're dealing with a one-stick first-person shooter. Yeah, and it takes some getting used to, but it works. Now this part, I never got used to. I tried to play Metroid Prime a million years ago, never finished it because I got lost, and this part was always odd. Scan, yeah, you have to scan everything. You have to scan to open doors, scan enemies to figure out what they are, scan objects, yeah, there's, there's a whole log book with research that you need to fill out with all these different things that we'll get to later. Scan the QR code for amazing prizes, you know, the normal stuff. And it's certainly, uh, hectic. It's certainly, uh, it's, it's certainly cumbersome. But it, it, it works. Shoot to open doors. Ah, the, lo the lovely loading zones. The graphics in this game are amazing. They were great, they were like, ab above and beyond for the time. And even today, they look great. Definitely. Even without the shiny Wii upscaling on the Wii U or whatever, this still looks fantastic. 
because the, the, the details of everything, you know, they, they, they had to de depressurize everything so everything fell to the ground. Yeah. Uh, the way everything just moves, the way the doors open, and it like shifts, just every, every, just the atmosphere around this game is just phenomenal. The smoke on the visor still gets me to this day. Yes, yes, absolutely. And it looks like some bad stuff's been happening here. It's a parasite. Oh no, not another bug! Do single parasites have a little like They tend to travel no. in large groups. Okay, that's. That sounds bad. I don't Yeesh. like that. I don't like that. So this is what we gotta do, basically. We gotta find new things and scan them. Like this here is about a space pirate. I don't think that, that was that added anything, but it kinda tells like, oh, whoa! Oh. Oh, God. Did he just spurt blood in your face? It's squishy bugs that came down. Oh, oh that guy's still alive! Oh, not anymore. You just shot him to death. They don't try it. There's a space pirate and weak light. Yeah. Large bite marks. Yeah, and he's got he's got some large uh, to, uh, corrosive shots uh, blasted onto his chest. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> got charge beam, hold A, and just you know, kaboom. So far, pretty straightforward. Just kind of getting used to everything. A good tutorial stage. Well, if that ain't a, the biggest hint ever. Hit X and you go into the only third-person mode, because I think the game at one point was third-person. But they like the way third, uh, they, they like the way first-person works, and, uh, they use third-person for the morph ball to make it look cool and awesome and all that. They looked into the future and saw Other M. So this is a map station, basically an auto-map if you're playing Doom. And it just gives you the map and everything you need for this area. I see everything. Yes. I see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch! <laughs> yes! Uh, the map wasn't for me. The whole Th this 3D top-down, eh. Yeah, this is a difficult map to follow because, you know, it's it's like top-down, I can't tell which way is down or up, but... It's, it's better to use in practice than to, you know, look at from a distance. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You're uh -huh. wrong. Okay. Go ahead. Now, 100% is based on scanning everything, isn't it? That's part of 100%, but 100% can also mean, like, item pickups, too. Okay. I think a lot is added into 100%. We're gonna try and get as much as we can. Because I remember watching a Let's Play of the game, again, a million years ago, and I think to unlock the super special secret ending scene or whatever, you had to have 100% of the scans. Yes. That includes, like, logs and everything. Yep, if you get 100% of everything, you get a special mid-credits roll, uh, MCU style. Uh, mid credit sequence. And thankfully, this is before the... Well, this was before the dawn of YouTube, so now you can just look it up, but... It was still interesting. I'd like to be able to actually achieve it. That'd be nice. Something for completionists to do. Also, uh, the Metroid Fusion Game Boy Advance connectivity bonuses. Yeah. We gonna do that? I don't have the game... Well, I have the game, but I don't have the cable anymore. But... Mm -hmm. I do have two things. Game Boy Player. I have... Number one, I have my data from the last time I played Metroid Prime oh back my in god. 2005. Oh my god. And two, action replay. Oh, well. So we can just unlock the Metroid Prime oh, suit, the Metroid Fusion suit. Because the Metroid Fusion suit, I don't think that's even in the Wii versions. Because you can't connect. And if they are, I think you get it from, like, special, like, yeah, or I whatever. Yeah, th I think you have to do something a little extra for it. So missiles are really good. Uh, they That's kind of how you mostly do most of the damage. Classic missiles. It is really recommended to... Oh yeah, see here? These red ones, these are the ones that add to your logbook. The important ones. The red ones are the ones that add to the logbook. The, the orange ones are either, you know, contextual or just give you an extra bit of lore. God, the setup to this. This is just the opening area and, and everything is like dead. I kind of love this opening. Yeah, this is a pretty good one. Just everything's, everything's just going wrong here. Just reminds me of Super Metroid. Oh. Metroids are healthy, but on restricted feeding schedules due to some certain- They're doing Metroids! Research on the Metroids and other promising life forms! Oh man! Nobody ever learns. They're already doing the Metroid. D didn't they learn the last time? No. Nope. Well, I guess I gotta I gotta beat him up again. It's because they didn't know the song Metroid Metroid. Got you know chronologically speaking, you know this is the second Metroid game. It was Metroid One. We blew up Mother Base or Mother Brain and all that. And uh, they st they don't know me as Samus Aran yet. They know me as the Hunter in Metal, the Ooh. Hunter. 
Yeah, I'll do. I like I, it. Kind of gives me a Doom Eternal kind of vibe, you know? I am Doom Woman. Because, because I'm, you know, doing the Let's Play, you know, as, as good as I can, I'm reading all the log notes, and these pirates are afraid of you. And cool. I love games like that. Cool. Or even though the game is hard, they're doing it because they are terrified of you. They're like, oh shit, it's the Hunter! She's gonna blow us up like she did on Teams! Then they heard, you know, a little bit of talking in back alley, just hearing, you hear, the Hunter took down Mother Brain. No. They what? They what? One person? Are you kidding? Oh dear lord. It was a federation, was it? A free agent? Are you- what, what the hell? Oh dear. And then the space pirates put together a, like a semi-bat signal, just to inflict fear into the hearts of other space pirates. Or just to let them know, danger's approaching. But, if, ah. but the lengths that the space pirates will go to throughout this game to deter me is pretty, pretty incredible. Uh, yeah, they're... I don't remember them blowing themselves up trying to take you out, but uh, it, it sounds right. What I did there is I did a charge beam, and charge beams will draw collectibles and uh, pickups to you. That had to have been either either last minute edition or everybody was talking. You know, how do we get, how do we make this more fun? Because sometimes the collectibles aren't obtainable. Can oh, you, can you do that in the other Metro games? Nah, not the two Ds. You can do that in Dread. Can you? You can, yes. I, I, I think we did it before. Oh, maybe they learned. Probably because of uh, what what uh, Prime taught us. So, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, Metroid ah! Prime. Get out of here. Get out of here, too. Sure. Yep, and there you go. It's unfortunate that this automatic security system is so lackluster. Ah, save ports. Yes. You can always identify a save station in any Metroid game, just because it always has the glowing aura of safety. So the difference between uh, this save point and other save points in Metroid games is that this one heals your energy. Oh, that's great. Because this game is hard and there are like a handful of save points throughout the game. So breaking even. Yeah. It heals your energy, but there's, like, less of them, and you gotta, like, really, really push for it sometimes. Okay, I really... Oh, I really like that as a collector and one who wants to 100% all games ever. Uh, seeing the color fade out from something you've already scanned is just good design. Mm-hmm. Well, we're here in our first opening boss. It's time to play Smash Brothers, Judy J. All right, you you can you can play. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep playing Metroid Prime. If that's I got cool. you, my controller. I'm ready. That thing don't look nice. Is, is is that thing the reason why everything's getting fucked up around here? What were they trying to do here? I can hazard a guess. That might be the cause of all the parasitic monsters. Well, you're right because this here is the Parasite Queen, right? Is the Parasite Queen? <laughs> Parasite female genetically enhanced by unknown means. Oh, a weak spot detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen, origins unknown. Ugh. It's allergic to fire, though, so that's good. So when you scan something, you get a nice, uh, really detailed log about this, but you also get a health bar! <laughs> I kind of like the idea that the, the Parasite Queen's been, you know, juicing on G Fuel, and it's just like, I'm ready for you, Hunter, and anybody else who gets in my way. I get used to things again. All right, so one thing you can do is you can charge and then fire a missile right afterwards. Oh, that's nice. A one-two punch. One-two punch. So and just, and did I see some strafing from you, UDJ? Yeah, this is a strafe game. I love it. Oh my god, this thing is like this game pathetic. Is, this game is built for strafing. Oh my god, that was easy. And then it just dissolves. It's gone. Oh, yeah, wait. Easy. What? Well, that's a lot of fire, though. Fire and spaceship don't usually mix, and dun, it's dun, looking kind dun, of... Dun, dun, oh, dun, dun. oh the, 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 she fell right into the reactor. She just palpatined this bitch. Uh-oh. All right, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get... We we, we only have... Actually, we got, we got a lot of time to get out of here. We only have, uh, let's see, uh, two, uh, three... Uh, 25 minutes? Uh, seven minutes. Oh, that's not bad. Seven minutes to get out of here. With tons of scanning, of course. Tons of scanning, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Don't think there's anything left to scan on the way back? Yeah, I don't think so. God, that would be such a jerkish move just to put a missing collectible at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, I don't think anything here is missable. Because, uh, you know, this is the start of the game, but, you know, 
you, you scan a scan a save room that counts. Scan your pickups that counts. You know, uh, there's some security things that that uh, that are here that we'll see in other parts of the game. Parasite Queen is probably your only missable one. Yeah, that makes sense. Bo yeah. Bosses are definitely missable. You have to scan them because well, you scan them, you get a health bar. Of course you want that, don't you? Mm -hmm. You want that, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'm running out of missiles. I gotta find a pickup. Hey, can you give me a pickup, please, for missiles, please? I gotta use my charge beam, shoot you in the face. Da -da 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 I'm glad that those missiles don't react with, you know, something based around fire. Otherwise, we'd just be blowing up the people that have missiles in their pockets. Whoa, that's a lot of parasites! Nah, Whoa, I don't like that. Do not like, do not like. Yeah, there's a parasite that's scan the mark. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 the gushers right oh, in my face. That's your T rating right there. Ecto cooler. Oh, oh, so much, so much ah, alien blue. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> doesn't even look like they're doing damage. Yeah, they're like like minimal damage. But later on, uh, other parasites of okay, that type the, will the, do the damage. The bigger threat. See, there's like a green variety. I think it's just a you know, ooh, wow, look at that. And there's a teal variety, which I think does more damage. Oh, this one's just green apple flavor, and nobody likes green apple. So there we go. Well, no, they're new no damage. damage. I, th I think the queen just hatched them. Oh, gross! So this is like, it's like a hatching of a spider. Oh, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> So, so I think what happened is they took some creatures from Talon Four, which were which were above right now. Mm. They uh, genetically enhanced them somehow because they're you know they're looking for you know bioweapons all that ever since they lost their big one with Mother Brain. And I think the what what they did to this parasite queen was bad. Uh, I really don't think they did that they did things right. Something really went wrong here. Well, if you originally think that the parasite queen was only about no one inch. Uh, probably some, uh, performance-enhancing chemicals. Oh, I don't have any missiles, and these things die. One missile! Fuck! Charge beam! Yep, charge maybe, they, beam. maybe they can give me a missile or something. Yes, there's one! Yeah, take that! Ooh, missile pickups are fives. Yes. I didn't know that. I thought they were individuals. Uh, they've always been fives, I think. At least twos. I remember twos, specifically. I'm thinking back to Fusion when we did that. Oh my god, I heard some beeping and I thought that was I thought that was your health bar, so I immediately like panicked and how much health did he lose? Oh one. If you if you didn't see it there, there was some smoke coming out of uh, Samus's arm cannon. It was like you know, yeah, huge I rising saw that. off of it. Great That's detail. Great detail. This game is full of details. This is this is where this game shines. I just wish it was fun. Oh Hey, wish granted. <laughs> yeah, they put it on the Wii and made it playable. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! No, you're not. Chill! You're not, you're not kidding. You never lie. Look, mm -hmm. that was a good one. <laughs> you're a truth boy. <laughs> you always tell the truth. I'm don't the one you? who speaks the truth always and forever. <laughs> no, I, I would love to give this a another shot on the Wii because I actually have that version, the entire trilogy. And I just liked how Metroid Prime 3 controlled. Uh oh! Oh, hey, it's you. You're looking kind of fixed. Hi! Oh, put you together with duct tape and foam. So Ridley notices we're here. He's a little... He, I think he remembers us. I think he's a little upset at what happened last time. You know, no big deal. I only just blew you up and then blew you up again. Here's the grapple beam. Works pretty good. Oh, just nice. find that and press nice L and then you swing yeah. along right there. So. Easy enough. Yep, not bad, not bad. Get the door to open. I'd like to think Ridley is just... Just, just a tad cross. As in, crosses his giant arms and talons and just go, I don't like that, Hunter! J ducks! I think he's angry now, but I think by the time we get to, like, you know, Metroid Other <laughs> M, who was yeah. in his last game, he's just like, Okay, this time, this time's gonna be different! And we just got blasted Aww. by something, and now, uh, everything lost gone everything. Because of course! We've lost everything. Who would have thought it would have been this easy? You see, I don't mind this so much because by the time we you know start the game proper, we'll be like you know at square one and we'll get everything back. But by the end of the game, we're gonna get everything back and more. more. Yeah, but that's. I don't want to say it's a cop out, but she just got like lightly thrown against the wall and everything malfunctioned and stopped working. Well, she's still new to this. What happens if she like trips over a beer can or something like that? Does she just immediately lose everything? She's still new to this. Really, that is that is kind of a problem, though. Oh, Don't you think, think about it? I mean, I mean, she didn't have the morph ball anymore. Everything's gone. We got our power beam, we got our scan visor, our combat visor, and our britches. That's it. Yeah, it's unfortunate that our electronic lock on our ship was also part of our suit, and that's gone too. 
So I really think just, you know, Samus, probably like a couple of months ago, got that special Chozo suit, you know, in the, in the temple. And, you know, it's still kind of, still kind of nice, you know, it's still got to work, work things through. Just got back from the dealership with this sexy new ship. It's a rental. And, uh, well, at least we still have the ship. But well, Ridley's going back to Talon 4. I want, he's probably got a place to go there. We're going to go back, too. Oh, I get it. It's because he has four talons. Of course. This tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Begin landing sequence. So, I don't know where Ridley went. He flew off into the mist, and, you know, by the time we got down here, it's all raining, and I can't find him. He's fucking gone. So, all right. Only thing left to do now is just land somewhere, and let's begin the game. Oh, this is bringing back so many memories. I, I've been in this hub so many times just trying to figure it out and all all of a sudden we ended up on dinosaur planet let's just have all the nintendo games come together and we're gonna find fox here in a bit we, we did that it's called smash brothers all right well i mean like a good game there i am lying again <laughs> you, you, you non-truth and son of a bitch you. <laughs> ow how dare so all right we, we warmed up at the or gate uh uh, Frigate Dorfian. Frigate Orphean. Frig it's gone now, who or cares? <laughs> Orgate just sounds like a toothpaste. <laughs> we got ourselves a save point right here. I like it. And now, uh, let's begin the game. Gotta scan our ship, of course. Because that's part yep. of it. There we are. Oh, just imagine saving that one for last. This is a hunter-class gunship registered to me. You recharge your, we your weapons, too. Save points don't recharge your weapons. Your ship does. That makes... That actually makes sense. And there are missile refill rooms, too. Oh, good. So start by going in here. There's a couple things you gotta scan when they pop up. Like quick, this quick, guy here. Quick, 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 Okay. When an enemy pops up and you don't recognize it, it's good to scan it because eventually, as you make it through the game, it'll be replaced with other ones. Newer types. Yes. So that could make it missable, then. If they're, if they're all replaced. If they're still in the game, so, then that's I, I, fine. I think there are some rooms where the enemies don't change, but sometimes they do. Okay. Like in the ice level, there's like a, like an ice monster that shows up like twice, and if you miss it, it's replaced by something else. This is a sap sack. Basically, uh, it blows up when you shoot it, but it also has stuff. A bomb. This is how you get like extra energy and extra missile pickups. Nice. I'm enjoying the National Geographic approach to Metroid. Well, yeah. Oh, it's a zoomer. This is a zoomer. <laughs> I don't get it. It takes on a whole new connotation. Over there, that is a blast cap, another uh, explosive thing, but at this time it has a poisonous gas that lingers for a little bit. Mm. Everything's explosive and poisonous in this world? Shish. That means that they thought real long and hard about the biology and ecosystem of this planet. And I am all for it. Really kind of gives it, like, Talon 4 is a real place. We could go over there. Oh. This guy here is a... Spiky dude. I think it's a gamer, yeah. This guy has spikes. He's unkillable right now. So we'll just, let's just avoid him. I'm voting within the next 10 years to replace the term Zoomer. We use Gamer. Thank you. That's that's what we are. We're Gamers. Gamer! <laughs> Coming in through here. Uh, this, pla this place we're in right now is called the Talon Overworld. This is like the the surface of the planet. It's all over, you know, overgrown jungles and vines and all that. Basically, you know, because the planet's been deserted, vegetation's taken over. But now we're heading to a place of real great importance for us. A loading screen. You know it. I like these loading screens, though. They don't last too long, and it feels like, you know, I'm just going up an elevator. Yep. I think it's the exact amount that Metroid Dread had its uh, loading screens. This the is the Chozo Ruins. Ah. Yes, the Chozo were here. They were here on this planet. Were they just everywhere? Well, not everywhere. They were nomadic people, though. They've long since gone for whatever reason. I'll find out why later, I can tell you what. So, this is just what we have left of uh, wherever they were. We got a whole bunch of uh, enemies here as well. These ones are I already fought them, so we're good there. Uh, there's something here. I thought there was at least. Uh, huh. 
big main plaza here. Time to platform in first person. It makes sense. Did Samus know that the Chozo were down here? I think it's just happenstance, but I think she recognizes like, wait a minute, these are Chozo ruins. Because she's gotten very lucky in this series where, you know, Suit gets taken away. Oh, look, Chozo statues Shrines conveniently them. placed on the planet I'm in. The lock-on system is is good. It's, uh... It, it, it does the job about 99% of the time. You also got that snappy GameCube controller button. Yes! Uh, there's a something back here I forgot. Well, your first clue that these are Chozo ruins is up here. Oh. It's Chozo lore! Messages that the old people left here. At the highest point of our city lies the fountain, a wellspring of pure water that flows throughout the, our civilization. It is the jewel of the Kozo, the life giver, and yet its water speak of it, it, its past time, space where clearly <laughs> began to glimpse throughout times, past and future, glittering behind reality like soft lights behind a curtain. We have seen the fountains of these glimpses pouring darkness instead of water, and we cannot guess what the visions mean. So this used to be an absolute utopia, a wonderful, beautiful place of greenery and magic and love and happiness. But lately, they've been seeing visions of darkness and hatred and evil. I wonder what it could mean. There are people who know the lore probably know what it means. Of course you know what it is. It's the internet. Yes, it's the internet. The internet ruined Chozo's. Got it. There's a <sighs> missile expansion up there we can't get. Uh, there's a locked door over there we couldn't get through without a missile. Uh, there's places over here we can't jump to because we can't jump high enough. This is about the only place we can go. New things over here. These are the ones that hurt. These are uh, scarabs. I remember these guys. Exploding parasites. Yep. They hurt. They run around, see you, and drop, and you gotta basically shoot them, and they explode, and it's funny. Oh, yep, there they go. <laughs> he had one deserter. <laughs> he knew what's up. What was up. Now you got these things. These are ions. Boo. They basically shoot a beam of light and act as a weak security system, but if you shoot them, they freeze for a while. Ow, don't shoot eyeballs. It's not nice great way to transition to the next area, too. There's a lot of, uh, rooms like this in Metroid Prime. A lot of, like, corridors that you gotta go through to load the next area. So, more Kozo lore. We Kozo are departing now after so many years in peaceful seclusion here on Talon 4. This be a refuge for spirits, civilization built from native materials. But, now, because they they went too science-y, they, uh, unearthed something they probably shouldn't have, and now it's just, uh, yeah. We've drawn the veils of time and space inside and are withdrawing beyond the illusion, so they just kinda go on and... Yeah. We've meddled in affairs that we knew nothing oh, about. Got a safe station. Oh good, I'm about ready to end this episode anyway. You know, I like it when they do that. Just letting you know, oh hey, there's something here that you should probably go look at real quick. Yes. Also, here's the boss. We've identified it for you. You just have to figure out how to get there. So these are war wasps. This is the reason why I hated this game back then. They had sounds and, you know, wasps and all that, but... Giant wasps. Now they ain't nothing. They got a stinger that can shear steel. Teh. Hey, I got... They got nothing on me. So I wonder if Samus is just, like, skimming the encyclopedia whenever she scans these things. Like, somebody else took the notes. Otherwise, how on earth does she know that it shears metal? Maybe, uh, it looks it up and it tells- it tells me, like, maybe it checks Google or something like that. But, uh, yes, yeah, scan the hives. They're, they're their own separate entries. Well! I think that'll do it for today. Good start. Good start, great start. Next time, I assume we're fighting that boss that was identified? Oh, next time on Metroid Primer, just going forward with everything! Okay. Alright, the new Metroid game has started, I'm excited. It's gonna be, uh, gonna be a great time, and, uh, we'll see you next time, Metroid Metroid. Brought it back! Hell brought yeah! It, brought it back. See you next time.